So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question, just because no matter what else is going on in the question, you more than likely you you will need to understand what is happening in the diagram, right? In the shape, in the graph, or like what we have in this case, in the table, in order to answer the question. So the information provided before this table says a certificate of deposit CD is an investment account in which money is deposited for a specific amount of time, right? So CD, money invested for a specific amount of time. Called the term. The investment earns a guaranteed yearly interest during the term. So every year you get something guaranteed in terms of interest. The table shows the annual percentage yields, APY, for CDs with a term of 18 months. Okay, so I see APY is my second column here. Looks like my third column is total interest earned in 18-month term. And then I have the different banks, right? So each bank has a different APY and therefore a different amount of money earned over those 18 months. So the initial deposit of $2,000, I'm going to just write that down. So that's how much money we're putting in initially at four different banks. Interest is calculated on the total balance of the account and added to the account after each day. Now, to me, that's important. So I'm going to just write that down. Interest paid daily, right? It goes into your account every day. So question 20 says the total interest earned in the 18-month term at bank B is what, okay, so before that, what is the total interest earned for bank B? So that would be this number here, $40.91. So B is $40.91. Is what percentage greater than the total interest earned in the 18-month term at bank C? Okay, well, the total interest earned in the 18-month term at bank C, that's this amount, $30.23. So the question is asking what percent greater, right? What percent do I add to this to get to that, right? How much, what is the positive percentage increase? So I'll just put an arrow for increase. So whenever I'm doing percent increase, and I know there's multiple ways to think about this, but whenever I'm doing percent increase, I always put the larger number on front, up top in my, in my fraction, so 40.91, over the smaller number, so 30.23, and I multiply that by 100. So in my calculator, I'm going to divide 40.91 divided by 30.23 and then multiply that by 100. And what I am getting is 135.3%. Again, the multiplying by 100 just lets us take it from, de from decimal mode into percentage mode. Now, because I've placed the larger number on top, I expect... I always, in fact, expect my value here, my percentage, to be greater than 100%. In essence, what I'm saying is if I earn 30.23 at bank C, if I then take that same money or if my friend took the exact same money and they also earned $30.23 at bank B, then that friend would be making 100% of what I made, right? They'd be making exactly the same amount of money that I made. But now if they add to that, right, so this, if they add another 35.3%, right, taking us up to 135.3%, which I got here, then that means they're earning more than me, and they are earning the $40.91, which we know to be the case at bank B, right? So the numbers should be the exact same at the 100% mark, and then everything above that 100% represents the actual percentage greater than um, where you started. So our answer here is this percent increase or this percent greater, the 35.3%, and therefore our answer is choice D.